Hi everyone, it's James at dreamweavertutorial.co.uk and we'll be taking a look at iframes today. Iframes are used to embed one web page into another web page or you can embed external URLs like youtube.com or Facebook or other web pages from your own website. So the first thing we'll look at doing is embedding pages from our own website and then we'll look at embedding external URLs. Okay, so here's the first example of an embedded iframe inside of a web page. This whole square is an iframe and it's being loaded in from another location. The actual page is separate from the main website page and this is the page that's being loaded in. It's being served up inside of that other web page. And the great thing about iframes is that you would never even know that it was being served up from another web page at all. It looks like it's part of that web page. Okay, here's the second example, and uh, this one has an iframe border, it has a frame border attached to it, but this square in the middle is being loaded in from another source, and this is the page it's being loaded in from. And to get this page to appear, I'm providing a link to that page um, and defining the dimensions, the height and the width, and various other attributes to make that appear. Okay, so that's what we'll be covering in this tutorial first, the embedding of our own web pages into our website. Okay, so I've created a web page that I'd like to embed an iframe into, and it's called index.htm, and uh, I want to position a quotation, which I have inside of another web page called uh, quote.html. Okay, so back to the index page, I want to position an iframe in between the title and the paragraph text there. So I'm just going to expand all of my panels in Dreamweaver and uh, split the screen so I can see the code. All right, so if I highlight the title text, it will also highlight that inside of code view and give me a position of my cursor. So I'm going to create a space inside of code view between the H1 title tag and the paragraph text. Now what I like to do with iframes is create a div tag and I recommend doing that with any element you place into your web design. And it's going to be the iframe holder. So I'm going to call it div ID frame holder. Notice the capital H there. Okay, so now we've created that, we can start to create our iframe itself. Okay, so if I click inside of the div ID frame holder, you'll see a visual representation appear inside of design view to show where that div is. Okay, let's start creating the iframe. So I'll open an angle bracket and type iframe and a space. Then a drop down menu appears and there's a few choices of properties that I can put in there, but I'm going to define the width first. So I'm going to type in width and press enter inside the drop down menu that will bring up my equal sign and quotation marks. Okay, now you can just guess the width, but a good tip would be to click and drag on the side ruler to guess the width. So I'm going to click and drag out and I can see a visual representation there and it's about 288 pixels. Uh, what I'll do is I'll give it a slightly increased width. We'll go to say 295 pixels for the width inside of the iframe just to give it a bit of space. So I'm going to go into my width property and I'm going to put 295 pixels. Okay, so adjusting height now, we're going to go in height and do the same thing and pick it from the drop down menu. And uh, I'm going to click on the top ruler this time and drag down to see the height. And it's about 202 pixels, so I'll make that say 205 pixels for the height. Okay, next I'm going to define the frame border. I don't want any border around the iframe, so I'm going to type in frame border and select that from the drop down menu and I'm going to set it to zero. Zero means no frame border and a one will apply a frame border. Okay, I'm going to set the scrolling to no, but if you did say yes, you'd get a scroll bar similar to this one on the right hand side of the CSS styles panel. Okay, so I'm going to type in no now because I know the dimensions. I don't want it to scroll down any page. Okay, so the next property we're going to set is the source. I want to tell it where that file can be located in my website. So I'm going to type in SRC, click it from the drop down menu, and I'm going to find the quotes.html and double click on that, and that will place that inside of the iframe. Okay, so I've placed all of the properties that I want inside of my iframe, so I'm going to close that off now with a closing bracket and a closing iframe tag. 
And if I click inside Design View or press Refresh, you'll see that a grey box appears inside of the space. Now that contains the dimensions of the iframe and you've got an outer border, which is the actual div tag that I created for it to go in. So I've just previewed that in Firefox and here we go. It's loaded in this page from a separate page in my website and that's looking fine. I might want to center that quotation though in the center of that div. Now, because I put a div tag around it, it will make it easy for me to do that. So I'm going to click inside the div frame holder. I'm going to create a new CSS rule uh, by clicking on the new CSS rule button. I'm going to create a new style sheet file uh, with that selector that it's um, selecting for me there and press OK. And then I'm going to save it into my CSS folder as iframe CSS. I always like to create a new CSS file for iframes in case I use quite a few on my website, which I do. So once I've saved that, I'm going to go to the right of the source code and select the iframe CSS file. And you'll see inside that the selector has been created for me. Okay, now I'm going to set the width to 295 pixels because that's the width of the iframe. So make that div nice and snug there. Okay, and um, set the margin left to auto and the margin right to auto, and that should suspend it in the center of that div tag for me, the main encompassing div tag. And uh, that should look nice and centered. Now, the text below the iframe, it's a little bit too close to the bottom there, so I'm going to set a bottom margin of about 10 pixels just to push the text away slightly, give it a bit of better positioning there. Okay, now I'm going to preview that in Firefox to see that it looks like it does here in Design View. So I'm going to save the changes, and there we go. I've got a centered web page which is loading in from another source, and uh, it looks good. It looks really good. Okay, and you'd never tell that that was being loaded in from another source, it looks like it's part of the web page. Okay, so that's how to embed your own web pages into other pages in your website. But what if you wanted to um, link to external URLs like YouTube or Facebook.com? Well, we'll do that now and we'll link to an external source within our iframe. So I'm going to create a space between the title tag and the paragraph tag again. And I'm going to create the opening iframe tag, which is iframe. I'm going to type source and uh, we're going to type in a hypertext reference. So HTTP www.youtube.com uh, so I'm asking the iframe to go and find youtube.com and we'll specify a height I'm going to specify a height of 500 pixels and a width of 900 pixels now the YouTube site is obviously higher uh, in uh, height and width than that so we're going to put in a scroll bar this time so people can scroll using a scroll bar so I'm going to set scrolling to yes and uh, for the frame border, I'm going to set the frame border to zero. We don't want a frame border either with this one. So I'm going to close the iframe tag off and click inside Design View. You'll see a big rectangle appears with the same dimensions. Now you see the paragraph text at the bottom is slightly overlapping that frame there, but I think that's probably because of the scroll bar that we've placed inside. We said yes to the scroll bar. It shouldn't appear inside of uh, a real web page like that. It'll be very close though, as you can see. Now here's our youtube.com uh, website loading into our own web page and that looks fine there. It's just loading up and uh, the scroll bars can scroll up and down the site. Now before you embed any web page, external web page, check the copyright and make sure you've got full permission to do so or you could be in a lot of trouble. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this iframes tutorial. If you have any questions, send me a message. This is james at dreamweavertutorial.co.uk.